I decided to rebuild one of my props uh, from the last couple of years. Uh, here at the end of my hallway I have a dungeon cell and when it's complete, uh, you can see down there in the corner is just uh, one of the pieces, but it's got the uh, the brick wall with the arched opening and uh, and then along the back wall, again two parts, you can see the bottom part, uh, another block wall, uh, foam block wall and I've had a static skeleton sitting on the back uh, which actually had a servo in his neck, his neck moved back and forth with a random movement and he had some LED eyes on him but other than that, uh, the first year he was the only uh, character here in this scene and then last year I added a, a little skeleton dog and, and another character kind of reminiscent of the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, scene with that audio track um, but the skeleton in the back was just chained to the back wall and I wanted to add some more pop to this scene so um, I've added a scissor prop here on the back and that's where the skeleton's going to be mounted he'll um, add some scare uh, especially to the people that have seen him the last couple of years and uh, expect him just to stay there he'll be popping out so uh, he'll be attached onto this brace here onto the scissor prop and um, he'll come all the way out to the bars right there the, and he'll have a soundtrack, I'll probably change that soundtrack, it's just one I had in my um, player so we'll uh, use it for testing purposes but uh, that's the scissor prop Get some, it's controlled uh, by a three inch inch and a sixteenth bore cylinder there and I'm running at about 40 pounds of pressure and since this one is in my house um, it's just going to be run by an air tank uh, it should have plenty of air to run through the night uh, that's an 11 gallon tank and uh, I'm using just a pair of those eight dollar speakers from Big Lots and for the very first time uh, using one of my kitchen sink prop controllers. This is exactly what I designed this uh, prop controller for. It uses an 18M2 pickaxe chip and uh, with a variety of uh, different outputs. Servo outputs, uh, outputs for the PIR, one for a jaw servo if I want to use the little daughter board. Uses the Tenda stereo board there and uh, also has a relay to uh, run 110, wiper motors, uh, etc. Uh, I happen to have it hooked up right now to one of these uh, LED little floods. I'll probably still use that, put, just put a red or a blue uh, lens cover on it. And then of course it's all being controlled by a PIR here. Okay. You can see there the scissor system. using drawer slides. Very smooth, works really well. Uh, I did have to spend quite a bit of time uh, since I couldn't be drilling into my hardwood floors or putting uh, holes into the doors onto the closet there. Um, cut this board right here so it's just perfectly fits in there. And so it's nice and solid. Um, don't think I'll even have to use any bricks or anything for it to keep it solid and then braced uh, the bottom of the 2x4 both on, on both sides and on the front really didn't get as solid like I wanted to until I added that uh, 45 degree brace in there and now that 2x4 stands nice and solid so I will be uh, probably putting in a little taller uh, front face, face plate on this to attach the skeleton to but uh, other than that and uh, painting this I think everything's working just the way I want to and uh, this will be ready to go for Halloween this year. <laughs>